We come to you from downtown Las Vegas. We're at the fabulous Poker Dome, and this is the MansionPoker.com Poker Dome Challenge. Here's where we stand right now. Tim Jeffrey's been our chip leader almost from the get-go since the second hand. Chris Kaufman right there now at 61, and John Prelip also on the upside at 53,000. Hubbard right close, and Randy McKay and Terry McNulty, the two short stacks. But Jeffrey has been playing aggressively. He's won 25% of the hands, doing everything right now. Let's talk about aggression. Well, this group of guys, they're really playing like a bunch of seasoned pros. Everybody really is raising before the flop, protecting their hands. Interestingly enough, McKay, the most experienced guy at the table, hasn't really had many hands and hasn't been able to be quite as aggressive. Yeah, nobody's being passive. Everybody really jumping on it when they do get a hand that's a, that's a playable hand. The blinds were 1,000 and 2,000. And it makes it really difficult as an opponent. You have, you're have you forced to make decisions because the other guys are putting chips in the pot and making you make tough decisions. So here we go. Prelim with an ace nine. McNulty with an ace little. Or call. Catch the limps in in the little blind. There wasn't a limper with Hubbard. Six king. Check. Check. Two. Check around. McNulty with a positional bet. Bet 2,000. I said check, but he bet 2,000. Not a bad play. Everybody has shown weakness in the hand. His ace high very well could be good. And he got the better hand ace nine to full. So McNulty will take that down. McNulty was on the short stack. Going back to that open-ended straight flush draw he had, it's really a difficult fold he made there because he had so much invested and now he's short stacked. Let's see if it pays off for him. He keeps getting aces though, doesn't he? He does. Unfortunately, he's getting these weak aces, as they're called, aces with a small kicker in the front positions, which makes it very difficult to play after the flop if you have anybody in behind you. Now, Hubbard, on the other hand, has been getting a lot of pairs like this. He's been getting sevens, sixes, Total. fours. And he's been folding those two raises. What's nice, though, is he is, when there's no raise in front of him, he's being aggressive with those hands and forcing other players to make decisions. Kaufman's going to fold the queen nine. Well, let's see what our short stack McNulty does right here. So Hubbard will take it down. He'll take it down by default. Pair of them. And he shows his cards. Sevens. Yet again, another player showing cards at the pay. table. How do we guess? Pros aren't going to do that. They're not going to give away any information that they don't want to. Oh. Oh. And again, nobody with anything to be overly proud of. Well, Jeffrey's limped in here with the ace six of diamonds. He's going to have position on the blinds. Kaufman calls the jack seven. Check blind. Three players now. Three five check. king. Once again, we have a positional ace bet. Both the blinds have shown weakness, no strength in the hand, and Jeffrey's just going to try to take it on down here. Kaufman thinking about it with a jack seven, and he'll let it go. And so will McNulty, so Jeffrey, our chip leader, will take another one here. Working that camera time there, Chris, huh? <laughs> <laughs> This time, look at this, McKay and McNulty are both loaded, and so this is going to be interesting. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and say somebody's going to go broke here. And Hubbard with the King Jack, normally you would think that's a playable hand. He's going to raise. Well, he is Four more. way behind here. Yeah. Hopefully, he'll be able to get away from this hand based on the other guys having aces and kings. Five. 
Well, McKay is absolutely going to love this. He's got a raise and a re-raise in front of him. There's nothing better in poker than waking up with aces with tons of action in front of you. And he's going to re-raise. Oh. And that puts him all in. Well, this is the pot of the night. That's not going to work. By far. <laughs> Hubbard's trying to use his time extension, but he's already used it. <laughs> Wisely gets out of there. So both players now. Oh. <laughs> well, that's luck, buddy. Oh. Looks at McDulty and says, that is what nice are you going to do? Well, that's just the cooler there. Right. And there's a third ace. And that's going to shut the door. Yeah. McKay's going to win this pot. McNulty's going to be out. Wow. So McNulty finally nice gets the goods, and it cost him. It cost him dearly. It cost him everything. And he is our first player to be eliminated. What a hand for McKay. McKay himself had only 39,000 chips. He picked up 34,000 more right there and is now within 1,000 chips of the lead. So our first player, Terry McNulty, will leave. We're coming back.